welcome back to today's video. It's going to be a little bit different. I literally look like absolute crap. This should be a 0 to 100 video. I have only just brushed my hair, if that. It's barely brushed. Um, so in today's video, I have decided to do two looks, one face. So I'm going to be doing pink on one side, green on the other side. Uh, they're, they're both going to be the same style, so I've decided they're both going to be cut creases, half cut creases. They're both going to have the same colour on the cut crease, but the actual eyeshadow itself, one pink, one green. So yeah, I'm just going to do that then. You know what? Let me put my brows on first. Okay, so that's my brows on. They are actually horrendous right now. I haven't done them since 2018. They are hairy. As. I'm going to start with the new P. Louise palette, the, Sin, uh, the Secret Sinner, and I'm going to use Infatuation. Right, I'm going to start with Change Plan. I'm going to start with S and M, which is this pink here, and then I'm going to use Infatuation, which is this pink over here. So S and M first on the outside corner, and then I'm going to go through the crease with it. lighter pressure as you go higher up so that it blends out now I'm going to start dragging this outwards as well just a pre-warning this isn't going to be wearable <laughs> this is going to be like quite drastic on both eyes I'm going for so the next colour I'm going to use is infatuation so I'm going to pat the colour on first with a smaller brush in the same position Oh, that is bright. I love this colour. And then I'm going to use the last brush to just soften that and blend it into the last pink. I'm going to drag it. I'm thinking of making this proper pulled out. Right, past the brow. You know what? I'm just going to put a brown in it and that will darken it up. So this is from the Morph 25A palette and it's just a really dark brown. Oh, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do. So I'm just patting that on the corner first. And then I'm going to start putting it through the crease. And then I'm going to use a smaller blending brush to soften that. This has nothing on it right now. I'm just using it to blend. And I'm going to start dragging that brown into the smoky bit as well. I'm only going to bring it in a little bit and then use the brush to actually pull it out. I'm probably going to leave it as that for now. Do the same on that other eye but with green. So now I'm going to use a different palette. So I've got a Morph, this is the 12P palette and there's a bright green in here that I'm going to use the same way as what I just did on the other eye. That is so, I'll tell you what, I was going to do it originally, blue and red and I thought no it would be too much Harley Quinn and now I'm doing the Belly Odd Pairs, so maybe I should name it that. And then I'm going to go in with, there's another green in here which is darker, so take a smaller brush, darker green, and then I'm going to start patting that on the outside first, and then through the crease. And then use the previous brush to blend it. And then I'm going to go in with the dark brown again. another colour. I know I'm going to be putting on a pigment but I feel like I want something else. I might try the yellow. I'm going to give yellow a, a little go, just a little go, 
So this is from the P. Louise palette and it's called Climax. I'm going to try on the green side first because it will probably, probably work better on there. It's going to go right at the top. That works, yeah that works. don't know if it's solved my issue though. I've just dragged the yellow out here. Okay, no that could work. Let's try it on the other side as well. Why is this eye so much more saggy? Actually, no, that has worked. The yellow. I'll just have to lift my eyelid the entire time. And I'm going to bring the yellow out on the edge as well. Whoa! That actually did help. So the next step is going to be the cut crease. I'm going to use the P. Louise um, concealer. And I've got a pigment here. This is from Shades of London. And it's called Midas. It's like a really light gold. Like a champagne gold. But it really stands out and I love it. Right, cut crease. I'm going to do a half one. Stick with that for now and try and do the other side and try and get it exactly the same. Make sure your cut crease is completely smooth. Pat it out. I'm going to blend out the outside bits of the cut crease first. So this outside line, you can blend out. I usually go in or out or down. Any direction. It will go into your eyeshadow no matter what. But you will be building your eyeshadow back up again after. It's just a lot of layering going on. If there is a lot of concealer and it is going everywhere, you can dab like this and then wipe it on your hand so it takes some of the excess like that. Now we're going to put the pigment on top. So I need my brush I just used and I need to wipe off the concealer because I like to use this brush for the pigment. Just pick up the pigment on one side of the brush like that and then I'll pat it right on top of the when you feel it getting a bit sticky you need to pick more up on your brush you just want to be careful when you're going towards the line not to go over it like the cut crease line such a nice colour and it goes nicely with this as well and it's going to look nice with the green too because the colour is so light it's just it goes with a lot like it's not like a, a bold gold it's just like a really nice light but shimmery gold so now I'm going to build the colours back up on the corners I'm going to use bright pink first which was infatuation and pat that on the corner and I'm patting that going over some of the gold as well and then I'm going to take S&M and pat that just in front of that pink so it starts to kind of blend into the gold I'm going to do the same with the other side but with green. The green actually looks really nice with this pigment. And then I'm going to go in with the brown and pat that on. So I've just pat that on and then I'm going to blend it really lightly so that the brown and the pink kind of merge together. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is get some liner on and then I'm probably going to smoke it I think. So, uh, Rimmel Glamorise liner, the one I always use. And I'm just going to do a wing, I think, I'm, not a wing. No, I'm not going to do a wing, I'm just going to do a line. So 
So I've done it going from thin to thick towards the outside. And then I'm going to smoke that. So what I'm going to do is take a really small brush, for usually underneath your eye, and I'm going to take black and just pat that on top of the liner. It's still wet. I'm mainly patting it on the outside half. And then I'm going to take some of the brown that I used and just pop that above it too. And then I'm going to stick the lashes on and do my skin off camera because otherwise it's going to be a super long video if I keep the um, skin in this too. So the skin's on. Doesn't it look a whole lot more complete now than what it did before? So skin on and now I'm going to go back skin on and now I'm going to go back to the eyes and complete the underneath bit. So it's going to be like pink and green again. I'm going to start with Infatuation from the P. Louise palette. And I'm going to pop that underneath. And I'm just connecting it to the eyeshadow on top in the corner. And then I'm going to take some of uh, S and M and add that right underneath, like at the bottom of that colour. And then I'm going to do the same with the other side. I don't think I'm going to use another colour, I think I'm going to go in now with some gel liner, so this is going to go in the waterline, and I'm going to do black on both sides. Oh, I forgot what contacts in, I'm sitting there moving them about with the flipping. I've only gone and painted the contact, haven't I? And then I'm going to put, I want some glitter in this, I want this to be really funky. I'm going to do, um, what am I doing? So I'm going to take the really dark brown and that's going to go right against my lash line so it blends the liner down slightly. Or should I do it with the black? I'll do it with the brown. I'm happy I did this. I never have done two different eyes. I don't think anyway, correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure I haven't on my channel anyway. Right, and there's some glitter here. I want to use some but I don't know what. I'm thinking inner corner gold. Yeah, that'll go. So this is Collection Glam Crystals Face and Body Glitter um, in colour Gold Digger 3. I have used the silver and it's like chunky. It's really nice glitter. Oh no, the lid's on. Maybe we won't be doing this. Hold up. Yeah! I can't do anything with my nails right now. I can't undo anything. So no one can help me. Tiny bit in the inner corner. Pick up the glitter. Wham bam, thank you, man. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little added effect there. So now I'm going to do... I guess I'm doing my lashes last then. I said I was going to do them earlier. So now I'm going to do my lips. So I'm either going to use uh, Rimmel London Tiramisu or Strip Down by MAC. Kind of depends if strip down shows because sometimes I'm tanned, even though I'm not tanned right now, it doesn't show very well. <clears throat> I don't feel like it shows right now. Maybe I could go around my lips and then go around it with the other one. Yeah, I think a light one's nice. I think. Otherwise, I'll darken it up with the other one. Maybelline. This is called Nude Embrace. It's a matte lipstick. So it's more of like a brownie nude. Yeah, I definitely prefer that. So this is the look fully completed. I am loving them. I'm loving both of them. Let me know down below which one's your favourite. I think this came out a lot better than what I thought it was going to turn out. I wasn't even going to film a video today and I came in to my like, little studio and I thought mm, I might as well film one. So it was really last minute, I didn't really know, I kind of just had that idea in mind and yeah, just kind of went for it. If this full glam is not for you, then this is probably not the channel for you. I do do softer glam looks but I do like the heavy face etc. I'm loving this pigment. 
like this whole look, say if I didn't do the cut crease on both sides, I don't think it'd be as good as what it is now. I am loving, loving, loving that gold. Look at that gold. Look at that gold pigment. Look at it. I love it. But yeah, literally rolled out of bed. Hair's a mess. Slept in this top actually. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.